Hi, it's Abel1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. And lately, I've been doing a decent amount of PvE combat, and I don't really have a ship for it. And also, there's the other problem: is I don't have access to larger prismatic shields because I um, don't want to re-pledge to the blue hair for four or five weeks so I can get some more prismatics. So any of my builds now will be biweaves, and biweave vets. Well, when I started thinking about building one, this definitely echoed in my head. If you build it, he will come. Now, there is a reason why I've never really gone into ship build videos, because um, my ships are unusual, to say the least, and also people are people, and ship build videos get more criticism than anything else. I'm going to link in the description to a channel called the Try Hard Gamers channel where he did a lot of shipbuild videos and a lot of people hate watch them. Um, admittedly, he called himself the Try Hard Gamer and then was like tier 3 in the engineering and stuff, which probably wasn't the best, but he actually got an absolute ton of views. Um, and he ended up giving up doing Elite Dangerous videos and even did videos sort of how toxic the Elite Dangerous community was, which I actually, because I originally thought it was being done as a troll that channel because I thought he was quite set I I gave him the credit of being self-aware and was doing it as a troll uh, but it turned out he wasn't he was, his ship build videos were genuine um, but I, you'll see why I thought it was a troll but when you make them angry they do come and building a biweave vet is something that's gonna get backlash from certain quarters the elite dangerous corvette owners club the pvp brigade they do not agree with biweave vets um in pvp a biweave vet is next to useless um you know as one someone once famously said about as useful as a cock flavored lollipop uh, however the uh, in terms of pve they're fine um this one i mean i haven't even finished the engineering on it completely and I've already got like just under 3,000 shields with good resistances uh, that come back reasonably quickly and come back massively when I bank. They're amazing in conflict zones, they just pound through it. It works really well at those pirate hunting missions and I'm sure it will work really well in power play, given you never have to reload and to be honest most of the time you don't even have to use banks. It is very solid PvE build. However, I am expecting some backlash from certain quarters, especially within the Dark Marauders. Oh shit, here we go again. Scooby has already voiced his displeasure at this thing and shot at it a few times. Um, you know, I, I may do a 1v1 with him in PvP just to show you how terrible this thing is in PvP. But in terms of PvE, it works perfectly fine. Um, basically, I've got all boosters apart from two heat sinks. And I've just slapped simple gimbal pulses, all efficient, apart from I've got one long range burst laser on there turreted with the missive. And it works, it works wonderfully well in PvE. And let me know if you want me to go through a few of my ship builds in depth and say about them or not. Um, like I say, it's something I've always avoided doing, but you know, I'm happy to if people want to see it. Anyway, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.